I remember meeting Tupac, and Pac uh -huh. was like mm -hmm. big porn fan. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Ron Hightower did a video. Yeah, Ron. How Ron, Ron yeah, whatever. Ron. Yeah, how yeah, do you, porn stars in that you, joint. How do, yeah, because yeah. Ron, well, Ron, Ron had like the first celebrity I ever met was uh, Bushwick Bill. Okay. At Ron's crib, I remember because Ron would throw these little parties on the sure. weekends and shit. And everybody be there. It'd be all kind of celebs. Sure, and shit. sure, sure. So that's what, yeah. yeah that's how you met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron, then Ron transitioned to, to like, he was, to, he was straddling between porn and regular videos and right. so forth. I just talked to him yesterday. Bro. Did you really? Is yeah. he still in California? Yeah. Good shit, man. That's my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give you the number. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I talked to him. That's my dog, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. Um, okay, so let's get in. Let's move a little past. So doing um, porn, okay, you, uh, the <laughs> Oops, money was what it was. What, what it was. It's all good. Um, yeah, you know, shit, you know, that's the last I'm worried about your ass and shit, nigga. You don't do, you don't do so much of a shit. Um, so, so this was, somebody asked me, asked you this question. When you did it with, with Corinne Steph, you know, um, Superhead, you said you didn't last long, the first time you lasted a hot second. Do you still get paid the same amount or like, yeah, like hey, nigga, you're supposed to give a, we're paying you a stack. We need tw well, 25 I'm, minutes. You know, right, 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 right. And that's, and that was, and that's what I feel, I feel like. We didn't get enough in the first time. Like I knew we didn't get enough. And okay. I knew that wasn't right, and I knew that she was too special to like, you know. You were, produ you, 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 you were producing. producing. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So I was like, nah, we, we got to shoot this again. And the thing with her is like she was real cool. Me and her were real cool. Like right. we used to chop it up nice, and right. talk on a mm -hmm. daily basis. And before, before this. Yeah, we did it before night? this. Before we, when, when I, once I got her contact and we started talking about shooting this. Okay. We would chop it up about you know what I what I needed what right. it was required right and then and then even after we shot it we stayed in contact cool. and that's we were cool. staying cool yeah yeah cool yeah. i've always wondered this now you tell me i've always wondered this do when girls come in that want to work you know i, I want to do a porno do you do like a, I got a little rehearsal hustle you know i got what you're working with i don't know if you're gonna bomb on set and shit right, man. you know right, right. What, what what proof you can do right. that you can take the dick or suck the dick right no nah, yeah that? yeah you nah. get a, roll the dice or you, you got a little nah, rehearsal i mean it was you know, Come like on. I said, it was a little of everything, but okay. yeah, I, I, of course, of course. Yeah. I would, but I'd always try to, you know, if you had paid audition, you know what I mean? Oh, you I, paid I would capture it, right? I would, I, I always, because I was always in the filmmaking, right? So I said, you know, here's the camera. Let's see, you know, let's let's see what's up. And I, yeah, totally. Right. My wow. release and pay for it. And, but it was always better that way because it wasn't like this pressure of being on a, on a set. You know what I mean? It was natural. Right. A lot of times it was, you know, it was just, you know, sometimes the camera wouldn't catch shit. You'd see us for a second, and then it'd be off, and we'd be doing the thing, and right, the camera right. would be on the tripod. And sometimes I had to go grab the camera, and, and you sure. know, right, I had to right. keep the professionalism. But we were, it was always just more fun that way because it was just right. us fucking. Right, right. Did, 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 did you ever tell somebody like, nah, mm, your shit kind of trash? I mean, you ain't say trash, but you know, you're like, ah, eh, ah. Eh. I'm like, eh. You, you eh, ain't really eh. performing right, girl. I mean, you know, <laughs> this might not be for you. And right. Shit, you know, you was yeah, all, yeah. ah, oh, my leg, yeah. ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Sucking dick like, <laughs> Woo, bitch, woo. You know what I'm saying? And dude, how do you how do you tell somebody like you know? I don't know who recommend you to come here, bitch, but this is McDonald's around the corner. You can be cashier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Have you ever had to tell somebody right. like, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, no, we actually, I actually had that one. Keep it moving. Had this one movie. Man, this girl had the worst attitude. Man, she was just she was just pissed. Uh huh. She was like, wow. And so, but even in the video, you see me trying to stick my dick in her mouth. She's like. <laughs> She's trying to suck it like, <laughs> but I, you know, but it was real. I thought it was real. I thought, I thought, I thought she was just being like, you know, uh, she just being young and had an attitude. Right, you know? right, right. It wasn't for her. It wasn't for her. Now I'll tell you some. Is there? I it is. I ain't gonna say. I'm asking a stupid question. I know. Is there racism in porn? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Recently, I've heard nigger dick a lot. Really? I'll take that nigger dick. I'll tell you, and I think Shane, what's that, Diesel nigga? What that nigga name right. is? Look like Vin Diesel motherfucker, yeah. or Sean, whatever, I don't know his yeah. name the whole day. Yeah. He kind of started off, like, you want this nigger dick? And yeah. from then on, I started hearing white girls, you know, you know mm. I think nah, it's nigger dick. I, I don't get no passes on that shit. Right, right. Um, I, I just, you know, because it's stupid. It's like, I saw one with Ku Klux Klan, they had a Ku Klux Klan, yeah. Klan, and they were fucking a black girl. Yeah. Come I, on, you know sister. I, right. I, I, <laughs> Come I, I on. Mean, yeah. You draw the line on racism, you know. I just, I just don't feel there's no need, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. We get off on the whole fetish of, of race, you know, right. uh, uh, fucking. Right. But I don't think there needs to be, like, you know, some 
straight up like bullshit. You know what right. I mean? Like some straight up like racist attitude. But, but there's an avenue for them crackers I like that. There's a white redneck, but I want to say goddamn fuck a white bitch, a black yeah. bitch. Yeah, I think the know? first time a white girl tried to call me a nigger, I was like, Ooh. I was like, yeah, I was like, nah. I stopped. Then the dude, they thought I was some uppity shit. <laughs> I was like, nah. The director, you mean? Yeah, he he, he tried to black. He tried to really give me shit over that. I'm like, nah, bro, you you ain't got you, you right. Know, fuck this girl. Right, fuck right, you. Fuck right, this. Right. Fuck everything. Right, right, right. It wasn't even, and then it ain't, it ain't happened since. Wow, 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 wow. So that, but that, but that's, but that's, but that's good. But yeah, I think there's, you know, and also I feel like there's racism in pay scale. Is it correct? Like, like white performers, mm-hmm. like they can make a lot more money than black performers. No, nah, they would always, they would, you know, they. Uh, I would always hear, you know, our, our budgets for this, our budgets for that. We can only pay you that. It's just bullshit. When it came to black people. You know, I always figured, what I, would, what I realized is that, you know, you can't go to white people to, and ask them to produce black shit because they, they don't have no, no skin game, right, no right, right. They don't right. have no understanding, you're right, no sensibility. So uh, it, would always, it would always just create an opportunity for us to do it for ourselves. Mm. You know, when FUBU came out for us, by us, mm. it was like, a, it was a model, it was, a, it was that, yeah, you should, for us, by us. Like, mm. we should just create our own, we should just do our own. You can't expect them to do it sure. and, and expect to treat you right, sure. fair in the process at the same time either. Wow, wow, that's, that's mm. interesting, because I'm quite sure there's some companies that you knew that the owners were racist or... You know, yeah, like, I mean, wow. I, I always, you know, I try to be like a game changer. You know what I mean? I, 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 you know, I, I like working, you know, with everybody, mm-hmm. um, and and try to be as inclusive as possible, right? Try to, you know, take away out of the racial stereotypes and just let motherfuckers just let their personality or character come through. Right, right. Um, no, no, that, that's 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 good. I appreciate that. You seem like one of the good guys of the business, man. Because um, you know, I mean, some some guys I've heard of that they had a pimp mentality, just really dirty about it. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple I mean, friends of mine who were getting females that were like, right. "There's some niggas in there. Some niggas only shower. That's just, just dirty motherfuckers be doing." It's like, "Oh my god, I work with him. He was stinking, and he just wasn't right. professional about it." You right. know what I'm saying? Well, that's that's some of the traps in the business. You know what I mean? Mm. That's just some of the characters who hang around and shit. Um, and you know. I, I could easily went in a whole lot of different directions, and I, you know, and I, I probably tried out a few things and see if it worked out. And if it didn't feel good, if it, if it didn't feel like it was sustainable, I just kind of moved on. Ultimately, I was a fan of the business, you know, and and what I, and I'm an old school cat, you know what I mean? I'm 52, mm-hmm. so I've been around a long time. So I was, and I was also a part of a generation that was a, a generation, you know, I was in that happy medium right before DVD and internet mm-hmm, took off. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. My my, I was rooted in these old school like these '80s guys who were yep. filmmakers, mm-hmm. and they had dialogue and script, right. and mm-hmm. there was acting, and there was a purpose for all why we're fucking. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?